Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Dark Cloud 2, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I've been like, building up Steve a little bit, so hopefully I've built him up enough. But apparently there is something else you can do that I did not know until now. You can recruit party members. And I think that'll be really good to do. And repairs are finished. Let's upgrade the ride pod. I have 1156 experience. I should get a barrel cannon. There we go. And you know what? Let's get a shield kit, too. Definitely have to invest in a core soon enough. What abilities do you have? Gives you bonus points with weapon or parts upgrades. That might actually be good. Fixing weapons and robot parts is his specialty. So yeah, skill points are like over here. His command allows him to repair weapons, repair our arms, and refuel. So I don't know how you get skill points back. But I wonder if all you need to do is just... I guess you can just like uh, have a command for it. Let's take a look at the tutorial. Does that have something for that? Support characters. Here we go. You can even take the people from the train into the dungeons with you to help you fight monsters. If you talk to them inside the train and choose add to party, you can make them a third party member. Now, the third party member won't actually be able to fight, but they sure can back you up with their different support abilities. Choose your third party member from the character part of the main menu. On the support character screen, you can choose the ability you want them to use. Using the third party member's ability to your advantage can really help you fight your way through the dungeons. Oh, so it looks like I can only have like one with me at a time. Send person a train, that's another part of it. Max, changing the ravaged world back to normal is a pretty hefty job. You have to move people from Palm Breaks all around in order to help the world of the future grow. To move people, first you gotta get them on the train as part of your party, and then take them with you on your journey. Everyone has their own problem, son, so if you can help them out first, I'm sure they'll join us in our quest to bring the world back to life. Okay, so it looks like there might be people in Palm Brinks, but I can't take them with me as long as the train is stuck here. So, I pretty much just have to, well, do this. Do I have to, like, go to the train to actually send them over? Let's see what happens if I talk to another person I can recruit. You know all there is about bombs. So you can make bombs and sell me gunpowder. So let's say I add Eric to the party. Which is pretty cool. I wonder if I have to do this with each one. Or will the other just be automatically replaced? Borneo is good for boosting item acquisition. So you have a greater chance of getting uh, enemies to drop items for you. So he doesn't have any skill points that he can actually use for active abilities. It's only a passive ability that he has. Okay, so as I can see here, I can only have one party member at a time. And the only way I can just, like, activate another party member is if I add them specifically in person. So I think Cedric would be really helpful, all things considered. Although Borneo has his uses as well. But that's if I'm, like, grinding for items, I guess. Alright, let's go back to the dungeon. 
Great Fish Swamps. Hey, there they are! The whole lot of them! Hold on! Something's up! Huh? Yeah, something weird's going on. Let's try talking to them. Well, okay. Yeah, you haven't steered me wrong before, have you? Hi. Ah, oh, rat. Everyone's gone all weird. The fish aren't biting. What a drag. What happened to him? Beats me. I got separated from my three buddies, and when I saw them again, they were like that. They won't go anywhere, you see. So I'm just killing time with a little fishing. Although, you know what? I'm uh, pretty thirsty. You wouldn't have something to drink now, would you? Mmm, uh, something smells good, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I do have some <laughs> ride pod fuel. You want to drink the fuel? No, you want ah, grape juice. This will do nicely. Just what I wanted. Thanks. Here, you can have my rod. Take some time for fishing. It'll clear your head. All right, we got the fishing rod. So guess what we're going to be doing a lot of? Come back any time if you run out of bait. To fish, first equip a fishing rod. Don't forget to attach bait, or Mimi, in the item menu, or you can't fish. Once this is done, stand at the edge of the water and press X to begin fishing. That guy's name is Norm. That's the fish monster swamp. Hmm, doesn't seem to be anything of value here. Look at this guy. That's Wiki. Moglin, Zack. This place is amazing. Just being here gives me this incredible feeling of happiness. Ain't no way we're going back. I'm happier. Just go away and leave me alone. Okay. I guess I will do that. Where else do I go over here? This is a rather big swamp. Am I going to find anything here? Maybe at this uh, little pathway. This area alone is large. Look at it. There's a big boy over there next to that tree. Master Utan? You know that thing? Is it safe to go closer? Yeah, it's alright. He's a pretty well-behaved monster. He doesn't hurt people. But it looks like something's wrong with him. Is he okay? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Humans, hmm? I don't see them every day. Now that I think about it, there was another half pint bumbling around earlier. This forest started to get nice and crowded these days. Never mind that. You look like you're in pain. What happened? It's pitiful, really, but I was awful hungry and somehow got my hands on the forbidden fruit. When I did, my whole body just up and froze like this, and I couldn't move. My fault for messing with the Holy One's food. I'll bet the Holy One must be pretty ticked off right about now. So you ate one of these, huh? It's a poison apple. No wonder you don't feel so good. Never mind, don't worry. You'll feel better after you rest for a while. By the way, who's this Holy One? 
The Holy One is a great fish who's brought happiness to this forest. A holy fish? Monica, maybe this has something to do with those three back there. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm starting to understand now. This Holy One must have bewitched those three somehow. I bet the Holy One is really a big fish monster. Well then, Master Utan, where can we find this Holy One? Didn't you see a big old swamp on your way here? They say the Holy One lives in that swamp. I haven't seen him myself yet. Swamp, huh? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I remember. Let me see. A big fishy monster named the Holy One that hangs out in the swamps bewitching people. <laughs> this ought to be fun. Let's go check it out. Right. Thanks, Master Utan. You've been a big help. Hey, don't forget to mind your manners when you're dealing with the Holy One. It'll be fine. We'll we'll throw it back. Also, I think you have to take a picture of this guy. Yeah, apparently that's a scoop. Um, wh where'd your apples go? Did you eat the others? The great holy one of the swamps is the divine consecrated fish. Should you care to meet the holy one, take care as to not fish it out of the water. That would be bad. What can go wrong, really? Hmm. These poison apples might be useful for something. Well, guess we'll find out. Let's see if we can actually fish it right over here. Why don't we try fishing it out? Huh? Fish it out? Well, we've got a fishing rod. We know the Holy One likes poison apples. And we've got plenty of bait. Let's give it a try. Go on now, try it. Uh, okay. Well, if we don't catch the Holy One, at least we can catch Snow White. Equip fishing rod and press X to cast. See fishing in the main menu for more. Okay. Attach this kit to body parts to raise defense. Yeah, I should use it on the core now. Okay, there we go. Now I think it has more defense. But I wonder if it only applies to one core. Oh, there's my fishing rod. Exchange fishing points? You can exchange fishing points to raise ability points. 100 fishing points will raise one ability, one point. Flight is how far you can cast the bait. Strength is for reeling in the big ones. Resilience means the line will break as easily. Grip has to feel just right. Luck is another thing we can look at as well. Um, can I upgrade luck? I have one fishing point. Oh no, I need 100. 90.99 more, actually. Duh. Let's equip it now. And as for my bait, I have some poison apples. Oh, I can't cast it very far, so I gotta build that up. Seems to be tapping, but it's not biting hard. Gotta wait for it. Got it.
God, I wish I had more potato pies. Yeah, yeah, don't help me at all, Monica. Oh my God. What's going on here? There's a hook stuck in my beautiful lips. Is this your doing? I won't forgive this. Better in the mouth than in the eyes. You're the one that made the little ones act so strangely. You must change them back. No, oh, yes. More victims of my beauty. Really, beauty can be a curse, you know. Anyway, why are you here? I already told you. I want you to change those little furbits back to the way they were. Well, such a thing would be quite simple, my dears. Then do it. But nothing comes for free, you know. Business is business, and everything's business. Oh boy, this is gonna be another pain. So what do you want us to do? So the little boy understands, too. Listen carefully, then. I won't say this again. Mwah. Look at them teeth. As everyone knows, I'm very fond of beautiful things. But here's the thing. Recently, you know, I've become a bit, well, dirty. Oh, it's so embarrassing. But listen to this. There's a fish called the Prisleen Fish that can clean up all the dirt from my body. So what I'd like you to do is go over there and catch it for me. You've got all that fishing gear, so you may as well use it, don't you think? Well, do you get my drift? <laughs> a Prisleen Fish? Okay, and when we get it, we want you to return those three back to normal. Yes, I know, I know. You don't have to tell a man twice. What? You're a guy? I'll be waiting. That the voice made it a dead giveaway there, Monica. King Mardan is its name. So we have to find a Prisklean fish. Where the hell are we gonna get one of those? Can I get one here? Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to look. Yeah, maybe if I fish in one of these areas. Prisklean fish could actually be right here. Alright, let me use a Mimi. This is not a cutscene. Okay, so I can't reel too much. As long as you're holding down, you're bringing the fish over. Of course, reeling will bring it closer, but you have to let go when it gets in the danger zone. Actually, I don't think you have to hold down. I think you just have to hold X. Actually, I think holding down does make a difference. Does it? Or maybe it's just reeling. Wow! First try of Prisklean! It's 47 centimeters and it got me 43 fishing points. Catch fish and earn fishing points or FP. The exchange FP command in the fishing menu allows you to trade fishing points for fishing rod abilities. Well, I'm done fishing. Da 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 da. <laughs> I feel like I should put this fishing rod away, because look, it's going to get tangled in my rod. But apparently that doesn't happen in this game.
Oh, I could just cast at him. I have spectrumized the fish. All right, let me get my uh, weapon re-equipped. And the music just stops. Did you get your hands on a little frisk clean? When my beauty is marred, it is truly a worldwide catastrophe. Be a dear and hurry and find it for me, okie dokie. Press the square button to use items. Here, shove it up your butt. I hear it's dirty. <laughs> Excellent! This lovely pristine fish will kiss all the grime off my body and make me look stunning again. Oh, this is inappropriate. <laughs> right, you promised. Return those three to normal. Oh, yes, of course. Is this what you were after? So now, those three are better? Well, why don't you go have a look? Well, uh, please excuse me. I wish you the best. <laughs> well, he's certainly cheerful. I'll give him that. Let's go and look. Right. This is a very odd video. But at least we have fishing unlocked. Also, I'm going the wrong way. I don't need to see Master U10. I already got his photo. I should just put that in here. Just in case I need those scoops for anything. Alrighty then, let's go. Also, while I'm, while I'm here, let me switch to Monica. Should I consider upgrading her longsword now? I need Cyclone and Exorcism. Holy Crystals would be good for Exorcism. Let's put in quite a few. Cyclone, of course, is the wind crystals. There we go. And there we go. Now, can I upgrade this? I can make it a broadsword now. But could I make this? Yeah, I think a broadsword might actually be good. Smash and beast. Thing is, how much do I need in either? We'll worry about that as it comes. Let's just get the broadsword now. There, doesn't this thing look badass? The broadsword? Okay, what should I get out of these? I'm thinking I'm going to be leaning towards these two because it requires higher attack power. But yeah, let's go talk to those uh, furbits. Hmm. They don't seem to be here. Hey! Never mind. There he is. How is everyone? Oh, they suddenly returned to normal. I'm so relieved. I can't tell you. What in the world have I been doing? I cannot remember a darn thing. 
Last thing I remember, I was thirsty. And I drank some of that swamp water. Look at your nose hairs! Past that either. What in the world happened to us? You've all been under the Holy One's spell. The Holy One? Who's that? It's a fish monster that lives in the swamp. You guys almost ended up trapped here forever. Oh, that's crazy! Well, what are we gonna do about Holly? Oh, sure, we gotta look for Holly. Hold on, guys. We should come up with a plan first. Let's go back to Sindane. You should return to Sindane for a while. You can go out the same way you came in, or you can select Escape Dungeon from Move on the main menu. If there are no monsters in your area, you will not lose any money by selecting Escape Dungeon. Oh, there's a money penalty if you leave otherwise? I didn't know that. I forgot that that was an option. Alright, well, let's go to Sindane now. Might as well do that. Well, at least we're finally here when it's daytime, which is a rarity. Okay, let's uh, go see the Furbits. I assume they'll be a happier lot now. Why did I pick the long way to go around? Everything later. What about Holly? Where is she? Where's Holly? I am sorry, but Holly isn't anywhere. Okay, hold it a minute. Listen, you two. Now that we've got everyone together, it's time for us to hold up our end of the deal. In return, can I ask you two to go search for Holly for us? By the look of things, I guess Holly really did find that legendary rainbow butterfly. It must be true that all those who lay eyes on it never leave the forest again. The only way to find Holly is to find the rainbow butterfly first and fall under the same spell. And then, just break the spell, of course. Hey, you make it sound so simple. Rainbow butterfly, huh? I don't know. Do you really think it exists? Alrighty, we got ourselves a deal. We'll help you guys out, and you go find Holly for us. Alright? All clear? Okay, we'll try. It's settled then. You better get a move on, lads. Yeah! I'm confused. They're gonna help us how? What is happening? What are they gonna do? I have no idea. What in the world's that noise? What's that thing? What the heck is that? I don't know. <gasps> wow! Whoa! I can't believe it! This is just amazing! What an incredible machine! <laughs> How cool is that? It almost killed you, Max! With this thing, you can make anything you want. Plant trees, build houses, whatever. Truly amazing! Can I get on board? Sure, by all means. 
How did you get this? This here is the control room for our pal, Carpenterian. That's its name? This is the ultimate building machine. Tharged from all of the technology handed down through our fervent generations. Besides houses and buildings, it can build lots of natural things too. Even trees and rivers. Really? Looks like we can bring back Jurak's origin point with this. Hey, don't forget to find Holly for us now. Yes, we know. What's that? That's the reactor where you put the geostones. Geostones? Yep. Geostones are mysterious stones invented by the ancients. The geostones contain all the advanced knowledge of the ancient ones. Carpenterian is a revolutionary machine that uses the technology packed inside the geostones to make new things. When you put a geostone into the reactor, Carpenterian can star the data for building whatever is recorded on the Geostone. That way, you can make new things. Just to warn you, even with the necessary data, some buildings can only be built on certain types of land. Georama explanation added to help menu. Oh, this was the thing you had to do a lot in Dark Cloud 1. When you go to like a new area, it's so barren. But as you find more stuff, you can actually uh, put stuff in the area. It could be houses, could be plant life, could even be people. I think it's like Monica said, someone changed the forest here. But if you collect geostones hidden in the forest, you just might be able to change this place back to the way it used to be. Sounds great, we'll do it. Let's go then, Monica. You bet. We're counting on you to fight, Holly. Of course, I wonder, like, how the Georama is going to be set up in this game. Because in Dark Cloud 1, you can Let's set it up look. certain ways. What's this? Huh? It's a time gate. You can pass between this time and mine through this gate. You just use that stone, you're at Lamelia. What? You mean this red stone? That's right. It's not just a pretty rock, you know. It's got mystical powers that let you pass through time. And the one I've got is the blue at Lamelia. They each have their own powers. Red brings you to the future, and blue to the past. With the two of them, we can use this gate to move back and forth between past and future. When we get Jurak's origin point back, we can use this gate to go see him. Hold on a minute. My father gave me this stone. Why did he have something like this? They say an Atlamilia can pick who it wants to belong to. It must have picked your father. And then it picked you, Max. What? Me? Anyway, the main thing now is to get Jurak back. I bet Jurak can tell us all kinds of things. About Griffin, about the Rainbow Butterfly. I guess you would know. Now we've really got to get to work. We have to get Sindane back into shape and bring back the Great Elder, Jurak. Alright. You can now use Carpentarian. So, why don't you try rebuilding Sindane? When you change Sindane, it may affect other things in the world as well. You can jump through the time gate 100 years into the future to check. You may meet people you've never met before, or find new events waiting to happen there. But first things first, right now your main priority is to bring back Jurak. Oh, let's see what's going on in the future now. Time travel, am I right? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it looks so grim over here. Wait a minute, there's a box! Hey! A potato pie! That's awesome that we found one of those. Who the hell are you? You know, lately it's been kind of lonely. Feels like something big's missing, you know? Anyway. Anyway, what? You just ended the conversation right there for no reason. A fruit of Eden! Sweet. Um, hmm. I can't move in the future, apparently. But yeah, we found a fruit of Eden. But it looks like you have to choose who it goes to. Well, this can only go to Max. Now. Let's take a look at Max's HP. It's 48. Monica's is also 48. Which is solid. And you have to choose who it goes to. I suppose I'll put it on max. But it looks like I might have to keep things even. Alright, well, this area seems pretty small. We can yeah, use Monica's power to take us back to the past. Uh, I just... How do I use the Carpentarion, then? Oh, I have to press SELECT? Okay. And then when you're over there, you gotta press Triangle. Pollen? So I can make a... Let's see, I can make a Furbit's house, I can make rocks. And I don't have any rough rocks. I can make a log if I want to. And I can also make grass. I don't have anything to place, unfortunately. I have paint. I guess cleanup is like you can remove stuff if you need to. Let's not bother with that. Culture. Hmm, that gives me my building info. My analysis. Okay, I don't have any uh, culture points. But apparently, I have to fulfill certain conditions to get this. We'll figure it out as we go. But for now, it doesn't look like we can do much yet. And it looks like all we can do is literally in this spot. Alright, so I think this is a good spot to end the episode. We've accomplished quite a bit. I'm really pleased with our results. So at least now we can start uh, building on stuff. And we have the Georama system. We picked up some scoops. And I guess we'll just have to take it from there once we... um. Possibly get more things So let me stop the video right here and in the next part we will continue on through the dungeon Probably find some geostones on the way See everyone. Thanks for watching